Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a beautiful contact form and turn this simple form from this to this. As you can see, it's already uh, matched with my website's colors and design. And also, I will show you how to make these two fields in line and you can make uh, other fields also in line and for this we will need uh, to install contact form 7 I already have uh, contact form 7 installed so presently I have these two forms one this simple form which uh, do not have any styling and one this form uh, which already uh, styled so I'll make this form just like this and uh, for this page you can see that there are uh, two short codes this one is for the simple form which do not have any style and this one is already a uh, built form so we will be editing this form and it's already opened here so uh, this form is uh, by default uh, came with uh, when, when uh, you click on add new form then this code will uh, automatically be there so uh, let's start the video uh, for adding uh, some HTML tags you will have to open edit form and first of all you can see that there are no uh, labels on this form so first of all we will remove the labels and then we will put these placeholders instead of uh, the outside labels and also we will add this um, h3 or heading to the form so click on edit form type h3 which is heading contact us h3 and now we will remove these labels and add a placeholder space within the code of uh, within the short code of this uh, your name text place holder and then press space and in double quotes write down uh, what you want to show I'll type name and then star uh, the star means that we will tell people that this field is mandatory but to make it uh, really mandatory then we will have to add a star after the type of the field so uh, this is how it will be shown click on save and let's check uh, what this feed shows on the front end now you can see that there is a heading and a placeholder and the title of uh, the, the label of this field is now gone so we will do the same with email and subject open the form edit and then remove the label and after email after the name of the field type place holder and then what we want to show then remove the label from subject and then type place holder and subject okay save it uh, we will not remove the label from the message uh, because we want to show uh, the label click save and refresh the page and you can see that it's now transforming okay now we will add uh, the HTML tags for uh, separating these fields from the next line to the inline fields. So first of all we will wrap all this contact form into one div. Before the H3 type a div and close this after the send button and we will give this div a class which will be the 
contact form contact dash form dash wrapper and then we will add another div which will be uh, a row div class is equal to single dash row we can use uh, only row but uh, it, it's so uh, obvious that you can uh, that the row is um, the default class of bootstrap and other html templates so we will use a, uh, the single row class that uh, may be unique uh, okay now we will uh, wrap the email and the text field within one row and uh, in two separate columns so close this div after the second column div and then we will make uh, another two divs div class is equal to single column and similarly we will close this div here and we will add this div again and close this so uh, this is a row one column and another column so these two fields will be in line uh, similarly add a row to the subject as well this is also a row subject will be in a complete row and similarly the message and the send will be also in one row okay now that's all for the HTML click on save now all divs are included and the form is still like this now we will add some style scroll down to the bottom of the contact page uh, we are adding the style here uh, for contact but we will do it within the custom customize uh, tab so uh, leave this form here and click on appearance and customize open it in a new tab or you can just uh, come to the contact page and click on customize because uh, it will show this page so we can see uh, directly how it will work click on customize now on the customize page you can see that there is uh, additional CSS tab click on this and now click in the editor uh, first of all we will access the row dot single dash row uh, we will give the row a hundred percent width with 100% we are making this form responsive so that it will uh, look okay on each device uh, on tablet mobile desktops uh, any device you are opening on so a single row will be a hundred percent right click and click on inspect element to see the width of this complete row open that single row and you can see that the width is now 100% here okay similarly this row this row as well okay now access the single column type dot single column and then open it and close the bracket now between the brackets type width 50% and then type float 
left so you can see it's already uh, on this side uh, but in the single row we will have to type clear both now the single column and input field will be 90% uh, so copy this single column and add a new one uh, with space input input field and then type uh, width 100% sorry 90% so you can see that there is a tiny space here and here and also a uh, single column input field 90% uh, for this one and now uh, and we will make this input field 95% because uh, the 50% and 90% will be 95% uh, of 100% div because this one will be 100% div so uh, accessing the wrapper which is this one the contact form wrapper and then uh, we will access all input fields but before starting the CSS which uh, this input will overwrite for this one but that input will remain the same dot uh, contact form wrapper this one and space input which will be uh, width 95% and you can see that uh, this field is aligned with this one accurately because 90% uh, for 50% will be 95% for or this whole 100% uh, I hope you understand this ok now input field is already uh, there but we will also apply this on this text area so copy this right click copy and then give comma press enter and then paste that uh, with a text area so as you can see text area is also the full width ok now uh, access this wrapper again and paste it with brackets open and close now background color will be RGB 225 you can use any color but I am using 225.5 which is opacity this one is opacity now uh, I'll give some padding you can see that the form is looking good now I'll give some opacity uh, sorry a padding which will be 20 px and it looks good 20 px looks good now uh, to make this form responsive we will uh, give this uh, this whole wrapper a hundred percent and a max width uh, of 400 px or 300 anything you want so we will first give it max width 400 px and it will be important so uh, you can see it's 400 px now but the whole will be width 100% I'll show you in a while uh, what these two means publish now if you open this page in a new tab you can see that this is 400 px and uh, what 100 percent means if you open the dashboard and come to appearance widgets 
I'll place this uh, form this one I place this form on the widgets page copy the contact form link uh, the short code and come to the widget section and in the sidebar the page sidebar I'll add a text widget and then I'll paste the short code of that contact form click on save refresh the preview and now you can see the difference between these two forms this is uh, adjusted width uh, by the size of the sidebar and this is max width 400 so if uh, a space is available uh, for example this space is more than uh, 600 px but the form is maximum uh, up to 400 px so that is why it's uh, it stops here but uh, it's also with 100 percent so it it is um, fitted within this sidebar and it will be responsive on mobile phones tablet and any other devices so uh, that was all for today's video i hope you learned something from this video if you like this video then please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you